Hey, what it do? What it do? It's your brother Micaiah. I want to talk to you guys about something really important. All right? And I would love to talk to you guys more in person about this. But I'm just going to say a message real quick. Some of you guys think that a person who is a sinner and a person who is serving God are going to go through the exact same trials and tribulations. <clears throat> Wrong. See that that that's what a carnal mind would think, right? Is that we all we all out here trying to make it. Make what? What y'all trying to make? See, we all been in that situation to where we were a canker worm living in our sin, slithering all over the damn floor, right? But we see that the most sad will intend good to be inside of our hearts. So some of us will be a canker worm for the rest of our life, scooting around, doing nothing with their life, right? Some other people will be a caterpillar. All right? Some people will be a caterpillar. And what I mean by a caterpillar is that we too will be scooting too. Because why? Because God has called us to come out of darkness. So when we pick up our Bible, when we're a little child, right? We look at the Word of God. We go through what uh, the definition of what righteousness means. We go through what the definition of what holiness means, right? We, we, we study, we seek these things, and guess what? That's why caterpillars get fat, because we're eating up their righteousness. We're eating up their righteousness, and we're getting fat, and we're scooting farther than what the canker worm is doing. You understand me? And then when we, we become changed, we put ourselves... Look, 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 check this out, okay? So, the Most High will isolate a caterpillar. He will isolate his chosen people. That's why they call it a cocoon, correct? A caterpillar, when it's getting ready to blossom into a butterfly, it goes through a time of isolation. So, it goes into a cocoon. That's where the Most High is going to isolate you. He's going to tell you, Hey, you've been through this, you've been through that. Hey, I want you alone. I want you alone to be with me. All right, I'm kind of getting a little bit chills right now because I, I, I know this is for somebody out there. All right? Um, but the most High, he's telling you, I'm isolating you for a purpose. I'm isolating you for a reason. I'm isolating you so you can understand to how to examine yourself. I'm isolated because I don't want you around them people. I'm isolated because I don't want you around that sin. I'm isolated because I want you to cut that person off. I'm isolated because this person means no good to you. I'm isolated because guns, drugs, alcohol, uh, uh, fornication, murder, all that. I'm isolated because I don't want you around that. But a lot of you people out there who are canker worms, y'all love that. You guys love it so much, you're going to stay a canker worm for the rest of your life. Do you hear me? Y'all going to stay like that because you want to die in your sin. God is calling out real people, real men of God. Do you understand me? Y'all, 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 y'all too, too, too busy listening to the white man and, and, and inside the, the pulpit or oh, preaching, giving you a little bit of sugar on a little bit of the scriptures and telling you to pass around the tie plate. But you were never seen a, a minority become a man of God. You had never seen a minority yell at you in front of your face. You have never seen a, a, a man of God try to go through the struggles just like you did at one time. And then he's doing for the better. Do you understand? Do you understand the words that are coming to my mouth? The word of God says, lift up your voice like a trumpet, spare none. In the book of Isaiah. 
We are living in the last days for a purpose. Y'all seen the same drama that happened over there in uh, Rio de Janeiro, correct? Y'all seen they were throwing a little devil parade and they man, they had a little uh, uh, Jesus imitator. And guess what? That little sucker, he died because he tried to imitate my king. He tried to imitate my king, so he died. They try to put the devil on the streets as a parade. Guess what happened to that city? It got flooded. Guess what happened to that statue? The most I cracked it with a a, a lightning bolt right up on that dude that, uh, that little statue's face. I'm telling you right now, keep messing with God. Keep messing with God. I promise you, He gonna show you that He is real in your life. Do you understand me? Keep messing with God. And I promise you, he will manifest himself in your life the way you don't want to. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody need to hear it. Yeah, you think you think that serving God is a game or what? I've been through the struggles. I've been a backslider before. I understand everything. Why? Because God was molding me into a purpose. He was trying to reconcile me back to him. A lot of you people are just so in a religious standpoint. Y'all can't understand understand when a, a, a person, a child of God is trying to show you things. You think that, oh, oh, he, uh, he, he, he thinks he's some type of way because he's following God. Get out of here, man. Sit down. Go read a Bible for something. Go read a Bible. Sit down. I'm telling you right now, I will defend the gospel. I will defend my king. I'm not entitled to none of y'all people's opinions out there. I'm entitled to the will of God. Y'all can mock, y'all can scoff too. Guess what? You don't believe in God? Guess what? You are fulfilling prophecy too. You think that because, just because you don't believe, you think that prophecy gonna stop? Hell nah. Sit your ass down, man. Sit down. Some of y'all people need to go back to, uh, uh, to actually uh, being good in the streets, actually opening doors for the elderly people. So maybe God can uh, uh, call you and maybe you'll pick it up too. Like, okay. I understand too. Yeah. You know it's crazy too, right? The righteous and the sinner can still both do good and evil. You hear me? They can both still do good and evil. You just have to have discernment on what you're doing. You understand me? The book of Ezekiel chapter 8, it it, it speaks on that. But I'm telling you right now, once that that, uh, caterpillar, right, once it comes out of its cocoon, is ready to spread its wings, become beautiful, a masterpiece. God says, I started your faith, I'm going to finish your faith for the good. So guess what? That beautiful uh, caterpillar, that was struggling. God isolated him. God isolated him. Now he's ready to spread his wings. While the mocker and the scoffer are still scurrying around on the floor like a, a, a canker worm. Alright. I'm out. Peace up.